Hi everyone, I'm going to show you a quick video to show you how to get BAM files and BAM index files from Galaxy and view that data in IGV. So you can see how good your alignment is and you can compare it to the reference genome manually. You can even use this to call variants. So the first thing I'm going to do is on IGV, before I make my figure one underscore eight, the project one underscore eight, before I make this IGV figure, I'm going to change the genome before I get any of my own data into here. Luckily, you guys have already done homework one six, so you have links to the FASTA and FASTA index files for the SLAC genome. If you used a different genome for your final alignment, let me know and I'll show you how to get these same files. So I'm going to copy the link to the FASTA file. And on the IGV web app, I'm going to go to genome URL and paste the genome file there. Um, Canvas adds a little note links to external sites that I want to make sure I get rid of. And then I'm going to copy the URL for the index file, paste it into the genome URL, and say OK. And this should look really familiar. This is what you submitted for homework one underscore six. It is a SLAC strain of the Bacillus coagulans genome, the reference genome that we've used for the unit one project. Once you have your reference genome loaded, you go to Galaxy and you go to your mapping step. And you have to download two files in order to view the data on IGV. So when I click this download button, you'll see two things come up. Dataset is the BAM file and BAM index is the BAI file. Once those are downloaded onto your computer, you'll go to IGV, Tracks, local file, and from your downloads, you'll select both of those, the BAI and the BAM file. I use the control key to select both files. If you're on a Mac, you want to use command. I click open, and I can tell something loaded because I see a 0 to 100 bar on the left-hand side, and I see a description, Galaxy 20 but I can't see any of my data because I'm too zoomed out. So I'm going to go to my assigned region of the genome. Um, I have one to 150,000 base pairs. So I think I'll just go from 100,000 to 110,000. And as long as you're less than 10,000 base pairs, you are zoomed in enough that you can start to see how much sequencing depth you had in your assigned region. So on this portion of the genome, I can see that every base pretty much got read. There's a gray histogram over every base in this region. And the number of times it got read varied anywhere from zero to 244. I could click on an individual base and I could see that at this position, um, the genome was read 170 times. So how many reads align to that base? That's the sequencing depth for that base. Now I can use the snipping tool to take a picture that I can use as a figure. And I can save it to my desktop. Um, you can also use on a Mac, you can use the um, shift alt three or command alt three or alt four to do a screenshot. That's how you're going to make your figure showing your IGV results and what your alignment looks like for your assigned region. Let me know if you have any questions on taking Galaxy BAM files and viewing them in the IGV web app.